A Dance with Dragons, the fifth book in the A Song of Ice and Fire series by George R. R. Martin, intertwines various plot lines as characters maneuver through political intrigue, war, and personal quests in a world where seasons last for years and magic is awakening once more. In the North, Jon Snow, the newly elected Lord Commander of the Night's Watch, struggles with the responsibilities of command, the needs of the Watch, and the influx of wildlings he has allowed through the Wall. John brokers an uneasy peace among the factions and sends Samuel Tarley to the Citadel to become a maester. Throughout, John grapples with his vows as he faces increasingly complex political situations and the threat of the others, supernatural creatures from beyond the wall. Meanwhile, Stannis Baratheon, having captured Deepwood Mott from the Ironborn, plans to take back the North from the Bolton family, who now hold Winterfell with the help of Northern Bannermen. Stannis's campaign suffers from the harsh northern winter, and his forces become stranded in a blizzard. In the city of Winterfell, Theon Greyjoy, broken in body and spirit by the sadistic Ramsay Bolton, who calls himself the Warden of the North, is coerced into playing a part in Ramsay's twisted games. The situation in Winterfell becomes tense as northern lords join the Boltons, some with their own schemes brewing. Amidst a chaotic backdrop, Theon escapes with Jane Poole, who has been forced to impersonate Arya Stark and seeks refuge with Stannis's forces. In the Riverlands, Brienne of Tarth searches for Sansa Stark, who is believed to have killed King Joffrey. Brienne encounters various challenges, including a brush with the Brotherhood Without Banners led by the resurrected and revenge-driven Catelyn Stark, now known as Lady Stoneheart. Brienne's quest seemingly ends in a desperate situation that forces her to make a harrowing decision. Across the narrow sea in the Free Cities, Tyrion Lannister, a fugitive from Westeros wanted for the murder of his father, travels with the intention of joining Daenerys Targaryen. His journey is tumultuous and eventually leads him into slavery. Tyrion uses his intelligence to navigate the slave society and ends up in the service of the Second Sons, a mercenary company. He begins scheming to switch their allegiance back to Daenerys. Daenerys herself rules in Meereen, struggling to maintain peace in a city fraught with internal strife. She faces insurrection from the masked sons of the Harpy, who resist her efforts to abolish the deeply rooted slave trade. As she grapples with the complexities of governance, compromise, and her own idealism, Daenerys is forced into marrying Hisdar Zolorak to secure peace. Her rule is further complicated by the arrival of a sellsword company led by Tyrion's erstwhile companion, Sir Jorah Mormont, and the departure of Dario Naharis, her lover, as a hostage to ensure peace with Yunkai. Eventually, the peace she has worked for unravels, and during a violent incident in Daznak's pit, a fighting arena, Daenerys flies away from Marine on her dragon, Drogon. The narrative shifts to the eastern city of Volantis, where characters like the Onion Knight Sir Davos Seaworth become entangled in intricate politics. His mission is to secure the loyalty of the Manderleys and other northern houses for Stannis, but he finds himself in a precarious situation when he is reported dead. In the far north, Bran Stark continues his mystical journey to find the Three-Eyed Crow, a figure from his dreams. Bran's party, including the loyal Hodor and Jojen and Mira Reed, finally meet the enigmatic figure, revealed to be an ancient green seer named Brynden Rivers. Bran begins his training in greensight and warging and learns about the history of the Children of the Forest and the others. In the south of Westeros, Prince Quentin Martell of Dorne embarks on a secret mission to seek Daenerys's hand in marriage. Quentin's goal is to secure an alliance between Dorne and Daenerys to support her claim to the Iron Throne. After a long and perilous journey, he reaches Meereen, only to find that Daenerys has already married. A desperate Quentin attempts to tame a dragon, leading to his tragic death. On the Iron Islands, the power vacuum following the death of King Balon Greyjoy results in the King's Moot, a gathering to elect a new leader. Balon's brother, Euron Greyjoy, emerges victorious, promising to conquer Westeros with dragons. Euron's rule brings a shift toward a more aggressive and expansive foreign policy for the Ironborn, and he sends Victarion, his brother, to find and marry Daenerys bringing with him a red priest, Makoro, to help control dragons. Back in the north, Rose Bolton's wife Walda announces her pregnancy, raising questions about the succession. 
Ramsay is pressured to assert his legitimacy, while the alliance in Winterfell is increasingly frayed by distrust and the approach of an enemy. Arya Stark continues her training with the Faceless Men in Braavos, a secretive guild of assassins. As her skill in shape-shifting and memory suppression increases, Arya struggles with giving up her former identity. Assigned her first assassination task, Arya crosses off a name from her personal list, a task unrelated to her training, which puts her at odds with the Faceless Men's philosophy. Throughout Westeros and beyond, other characters continue their journeys and grapple with their personal ambitions and the changing political landscape. As the novel concludes, various threads are set up to converge, including the imminent attacks from the others, interhouse conflicts, Daenerys's uncertain fate, and various claimants positioning themselves for control over the Seven Kingdoms. The end of A Dance with Dragons leaves readers waiting for the next moves in this vast, intricate Game of Thrones, with the fate of many characters hanging by a thread and the winds of winter drawing ever closer. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.